Good morning, people watching my 65, Lisa Boyce. Graduation was a success. Took me a half an hour to get out of that parking lot last night. I was so tired. Oh, my gosh. But he did it. Now I can go. Rapture. No. Yeah, I can't. Let me give you a verse of scripture out of Romans 8.15. And it says, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future. Was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life how do you come to that you admit you're a sinner in need of christ the moment you put your faith and trust in christ and his blood the moment you accept him as savior not only are you saved but you are justified by the blood of jesus you are protected by the blood of jesus you are rapture ready which is literally going to happen at any time you know i was standing in line um at this place and i was looking at all these people, and I'm wondering, you can't help but to wonder, do they know what's gonna what's about to go down? And I can guarantee I can almost guarantee you they don't. They don't. You can't help but to, you know, it was well over three or four thousand people there. And you can't help but to wonder. You can't help but to wonder. You're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. And the Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you. If you let him. That's what he does. He will change you. If you let him. Now. Uh, Let me give you what Blinken is saying right now. Hmm. Blinken is lobbying for strikes on Russia. So instead of this, instead of the headline saying that, it should say that Blinken and this administration is pushing a nuke on this nation and around the world and Britain. That's what, the, that's what it should say. So the top U.S. diplomat wants Ukraine to be given permission to use American weapons beyond its borders. Oh, and let me, I haven't even began to tell you what's happening with Israel right now. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is pushing the administration to allow Ukraine to attack targets deep inside Russia with American weapons. Now, and this is reported off the New York Times, and it was reported yesterday. Now, <laughs> let me say this. <laughs> you know what? That's Israel. You hear that? So while that's going on, He's pushing for more nuclear reaction from Russia, basically is what it should say. So while all that's going on, you got China that's invading Taiwan right now. You got Israel. Oh, and the ICC has demanded Israel to stand down from Rafa. This is what the ICC has done. They're demanding Israel 
to don't go no further than this because of the humanitarian aid. Or should I say because they're evil? That's why they're demanding Israel? I mean, you know, because it's prophecy? Yeah, that's part of the reason. Let me give you this. The ban, according to the White House, was imposed out of concern that U.S. arms were used inside that Washington acknowledged as Russian territory. It would trigger an escalation and potentially World War III. Blinken has been advocating for scrapping the restriction after making a sobering visit to Kiev early this month. Ukrainian officials have claimed that being unable to target Russian forces across the border with American weapons led to the failure of its troops to prevent the recent Russian advance in Kharkiv or Kharkov region. Putin has said that the offensive is a response to months of Ukrainian artillery and drone attacks in Russia's Belgorod region and that a buffer zone is required to deprive Kiev of the capability to make such strikes. The Times said that Ukraine weapons don't pack the power and speed of the American weapons. <sighs> Kiev has launched a lobbying campaign on Capitol Hill to pressure the White House over the issue and has some allies among uh, lawmakers. A group of representatives signed a letter to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin on Monday calling for the Ukrainian request to be granted. During a hearing in Congress on Tuesday, Senator Michael McCall displayed a map showing the strike range of the Addison's missiles a weapon the U.S. has donated to Ukraine if Kiev were allowed to use them in Russia. He called the outlying territory, a, listen to this, he called the outlying territory a sanctuary zone for Russian troops and accused the Biden administration of trying to hand, of trying the hands of the Ukrainians behind their back. Russia is currently conducting a military drill to test its capability to use non-strategic nuclear weapons, which Putin ordered in response to the hostile rhetoric by Western officials. So this thing is getting worse and worse and worse by the hour. Because what this is going to do is going to push Russia further and further into a corner. And you know what happens when a bear is pushed into a corner. He comes out swinging and swiping until he kills you. That's what's going on right now. Now, let's go over to Hal Turner. I treat Hal the way, the same way I treat Lloyd Austin. Lloyd Austin, Hal Turner. <laughs> yeah, because I don't like either one of them. But anyway, the ex the island of Taiwan awoke yesterday. Yesterday morning to find itself surrounded by Chinese Navy. The Chinese government says it is in... <laughs> Here we go with that word again, exercise, quote unquote. It's not an exercise, folks. But Taiwan believes an invasion is coming. So does the U.S. So, from the Chinese government. As a result of China's uh, military moves, Taiwan deployed its Coast Guard, which is now in, the sort, in a sort of Mexican standoff with China much larger navy. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. 
Uh, to emphasize how serious the situation is, Taiwan, for the very first time, deployed anti-ship missiles on its coast and raised the missile launchers into launch position. Intelligence sources says that at the meeting between Russian President Putin and Xi, like I said yesterday, <laughs> th this was not a run-of-the-mill meeting. According to this meeting, which took place in Beijing last week, military adventures were among the topics the two leaders discussed. The intelligence guys say that China sees Trump is making a very hard run for re-election and they and they know they will not stand any chance of taking Taiwan if Trump gets back in. See, I told you they're basing everything on the fact that this man's going to get reelected. We know from the spiritual standpoint of what's about to take place. And folks, <laughs> I don't see an election in the future. I see martial law. I see the great tribulation. But the two things that I don't see in the future is a revival, which is not going to happen, and an election. Sorry, I just don't see it. Now people are walking around talking about revival. So yeah, no. Bible doesn't indicate that. Bible does talk about the Great Tribulation and the Rapture. China also knows that the U.S. is seriously weakened. Now due to our supplying uh, Ukraine with weaponry to fight Russia. They're absolutely right about that. So short of missiles is the United States Navy that when a destroyer missile cruisers return to port from sea duty, his missiles must be taken off the ship to be placed on another ship, which is going out to sea duty because the U.S. Navy does not have enough missiles to load all of the vessels. Moreover, they say Joe Biden is seen as, <laughs> well, you can see the word, incompetent. But they added more to this, that he is. All these things add up to China making a move against Taiwan, like right now. Right now. The U.S. seeing what China is doing has this... And you know what? Let me stop there. And this has dropped in my spirit. <laughs> this makes perfect sense. Because this is why all of these things have to happen now. Because these people think that Trump is going to get back in office. That's what they think. And with that being said... They have to do everything they're going to do right now. That makes sense. For the great tribulation to take place and the Antichrist comes on the scene and it makes sense for the rapture to take place. So this goes on to say the U.S. seeing what China is doing has dispatched the USS Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier from its port in Japan. The Ronald Reagan set sail from Japan late Wednesday night and arrived in the Philippine Sea yesterday. The vessel is within airstrike range of Taiwan and the Chinese fleet surrounding Taiwan, but the Reagan is now also now within range of China's hypersonic ship killer missiles. So this whole thing has ramped up to the point of we got to go soon. <laughs> That's what it's ramped up to. Because this came out at the same time uh, Russia came out this thing with Russia came out 
And it came out at the same time the ICC posted their little rant about Israel. Which is saying, and this is off the hill, and it came in and like I said, it's not much on it yet because it's developing, but it's saying that the top UN court demands Israel to stop military operations in Rafah. It says Israel must immediately stop its operations in Rafah in the southern Gaza Strip. The United Nations top court ruled today. The ruling by the International Criminal Court of Justice marks a major condemnation on how Israel is conducting its war This just keeps going on and on. Uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to keep up the military operation to achieve complete victory. Good for him. Good for him. So the court says that, and this was brought on by South Africa, accusing Israel of carrying out genocide. So I'm going to link all this in the description box. And I will be back later for more, <laughs> of course, for more. This weekend, folks, I just, I don't have a good feeling about this weekend, number one. Um, I just don't. I just feel that something major is about to happen could it be the rapture i pray it is i pray that it is um anyway i will be back later thank you